physiological response that when people think of something, their body reacts on it. But it reacts on such a minute <laughs> level that they don't realize it. And other people don't realize it. But you can teach yourself with a lot of practice, a lot of work, how to read those subtle muscle cues. So much so that even poker players know this and they can read the tells of other people if they know what to look for. So I understand you're a world-class poker player. I think I caught you on television, actually. Oh, yeah? We're helping Chris uh, train for the, the muscle reading, uh, idiomotor response section of his performances by starting out small. I'd like to make a little wager with you. Is that all right? Uh, okay, but I don't have anything to wager. <laughs> no, you actually do. I'm going to bet you my lucky penny. I don't want a penny from you. Okay. If I win three hands in a row, I'd like you to give me a kiss right on the cheek. Is that fair? I guess so. This won't be easy. I'm letting a professional poker player shuffle and deal. And then I have to beat her three out of three hands. If she beats me just one time, I lose. I want you to be in control here. I want you to shuffle up the pile of any way you'd like. Uh, we sat here with Chris and, and I had to take Chris through the hands of poker. So it's not like he's some expert with strategy. Or, so it's purely about Chris's ability to psych somebody out. I'd like you to deal two piles. You can deal you know, two in one pile, three in the other pile. Okay. Okay, please. Now, since you are a world-class poker player, and I'm not, you're going to give me a slight advantage here for okay. the first round. I'm going to take a look at both hands. I just want to see what I'm dealing with here. Okay. Okay. Now, you notice one pile a bit closer to you, the other pile a little bit further away. Mm -hmm. Some might say, you know, I put this close to you because it's easier for you to touch. You might go for that one quicker, or you might go for this one because it is further away and you think I want you to make okay. you to go for that. So I'm just curious to see. I want you to take your finger, mm -hmm. and I'd like you to, uh, to touch one of the piles for me. Okay? Pick it up and take a look at it. What do you have? Three deuces. Put them down. As luck had it, I have uh, a winning wow. hand here. <laughs> nice hand. Thank you. Like Hellstromism, it's all about allowing somebody to feel in control when in reality I'm always in control. Let's try something. I'm going to uh, touch a card and that will be my card, and then you're going to touch a card, and that will be your card. Okay. Okay? I'm going to give you an advantage here. I'd like you to touch a card, and you can either keep that card, or you can give me the card. We got a big penny on the line here. <laughs> and what do you have? A pair of sevens. A pair of sevens. I have a pair of nines, a pair of queens, and I have your seven. Oh. <laughs> but now I want to raise the stakes. I'm feeling a little confident with you, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, this is almost 10 carats. Mm -hmm. I'm going to place it over here. Deal some cards face down, some cards face up, whatever you'd like to. Go ahead. You know what's, what we're going to do here? I, I really, really want to give you an advantage here. The advantage I'm going to give you, I'm going to select the card. But you're going to tell me right now, do you want me to select a face down card or a face up card? Your choice. Mm, face down. Face down. All right. I'll take this one here. Your choice. Can I choose whichever one I want? Um, sure can. Okay, I'll take the king. The king? Okay. What would you like me to take? A face down card or a face up card? Down. Face down card. I think I'll take this one. Okay, so you that's actually quite good so far. You have two kings. Okay. Getting a little nervous here, I have to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous. Okay. Are you gonna miss that chain? You got other ones. Yeah, I am. <laughs> All right, you know what, uh, what would you like me to do? Face down or face up? Down. Face down again. Please, whatever you'd like. Face down or face up? I think I'm taking this one. Okay. Face down or face up for me? Down. To base. I'd like to 
raise the stakes a little bit here. <laughs> You're pretty confident. Well, you know what's interesting? I'm gonna basically bet the shirt <laughs> right off my back. Uh -huh. And the reason why I'm gonna do this is because you were telling me with your, your body language things that you're probably not even aware of that we're going to talk about off camera because I want to make you a better player. Uh, uh, hand me either one. It doesn't even matter. And that one's yours. Let's see how we did. What do you have? I have a pair of kings. A pair of kings. Well, it certainly beats my fives. But, uh... I also have a pair of threes. Oh. So I'm afraid I won and you lost. And I believe you owe me something. Yes. And what was that again? <laughs> right over here. Got you. <laughs> Chris, you know, I'm sure if he was to be a poker player, he would be the best poker player so, there was. 